I'm going to show you all a little bit about PowerPoint, how to use PowerPoint to create a poster. Uh, you first need to get in Office 365. Once you get in Office 365, you're then going to click on your PowerPoint app. If you've already been working, you can click on what you've been working on. If not, you click on blank presentation. What we're going to do is use this like a template for a poster. We're not going to actually create a slideshow, but we're just going to use the outline. So we're going to delete the text boxes. We're going to add our own later. The first thing we're going to do is here's your tabs at the top. So if you hear me say tab, you know this is what I mean. We're going to click on the design tab. We're going to add us a background. You can add a solid color of any color of your choosing, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll choose black for this scenario. Some of you may want to choose white if this is something that you want to print out, less on your cost. I want to add a border, so we're going to insert a shape. We're going to do a rectangle. When you insert a rectangle or a shape, you see that your options come up at the top right here for what you could do. You can fill that shape in. I don't want my shape filled in, so I'm going to click no fill. And your shape outline, you can also use that. So what you can do is, let's, let's do white, and then you stretch that guy out, that'll give us a nice little, clean little border. So we have our border. Now let's add some text. You go to insert tab. This is where all of your shapes, your text, all the different things you want to insert, pictures and whatnot. I'm going to insert the text box. The first thing we're going to do, you notice that if you're typing, you don't see anything. It's probably because we didn't change the color. So let's change our text color to white. Oh, and there we go. So you notice how my text went to the next line. If you don't want that, what you have to do is stretch your text out. If you want your text to get larger, you can select it. After you select it, this little box will come up. If you miss that box, you can do the same thing up here. You can make your text a bit smaller. And again, if you need to stretch it out, go ahead and do so. When you see this little four-way white cross this allows you to move your text if you notice that it has guidelines there is a center guideline there it'll line it up in the center for you so you know it's directly in the center so now I want to insert more text because we need our steps uh, one thing you can also do if you don't want to go through the process uh, you can duplicate these so you can copy and then control V paste it oh didn't copy what I wanted to copy oh it won't let us let's see if it'll no it won't let us so if you want to insert more text, you just insert a different text box. Make sure you change the color. 
to white or whatever that will make you see you can start adding your steps step one visit gmail www.gmail.com good thing about this being a powerpoint slide it will make the link interactive which means you can click on it and it'll actually work let's uh, increase our size just a little bit and we have step one uh, you can repeat the same process to get all of your steps let me show you how to import a picture so if you want to insert picture so if you have pictures here I already have pictures downloaded and saved uh, if you need to know how to save a picture from online you can look up another YouTube video or you can check out my uh, Pixlr basics with pictures videos it shows you how to download pictures uh, here I'll just say take this Gmail apps picture import the picture and then you can also shape this picture, move this picture, do whatever you need to do with that guy. So that's just some basics that'll get you started. Um, you can also do some things with the shapes. Um, you can insert all kinds of shapes and uh, star items and make them important. I want this one to be in a star. You can even put numbers inside of the shape. So some stuff you can play with, just some basics. If you need anything else and need any help, leave it in the comments below.